können mal bei unserem Freund äh, Producer Michael reinschauen. Der hat ähm, heute auch ein neues Video hochgeladen. Wir werden es, glaube ich, nicht. And the truth about Yossi Dina. Alter, was mit Yossi passiert? Okay, wisst ihr noch, wer das ist? Das ist dieser eine, der nicht so nett war, der immer so ein bisschen schroff war. Gucken wir uns mal an, was Producer Michael hier in diesem Video zu erzählen hat. In Rolexes, Patek, APs, etc., etc. Today we are at 90210 Watches with Seth and we're going to show you something really special. MBF, Blancpain, Lang und Söhne, Saxomat, Jacques Drault, Roger de Bouy. Before we get to the video, I want to remind you, go to the Producer Michael Boutique, www.producermichael.com and go shopping. We have amazing watches, a vast range. We have everything from like 20 bucks all the way up to a couple of million and everything in between. We've got fashion, shoes, fragrances, sunglasses. Go check it out. ProducerMichael.com. Cool. Today we are with Seth at 90210 Watches and we're going to show you something really, really special. I know you've all seen the Rolexes and Pateks and... Roger de Buifection, genau, genau. Do you know there's so many other super high-end brands that are very expensive that are also incredibly desirable? Seth, good to see you, my friend. Hey, hey. What you got to show us? I really appreciate you coming in today, Mike. It's great to see it's you. good to see you. And you too, Adam. It's good to see you, Mike. <laughs> Well, these look amazing. I'm familiar with some of these, but not all of them. It's, it's actually very refreshing. Heute sehen wir mal was anderes als den normalen Standardkram. That you see all the time, right? Right. We're always talking about the hype watches. Right. And that's what they are. They're yeah. hype they're, they're for the hype. time being. Right. So let's start from this side. We'll work our way down. All right. So all right. this one here, this is a Langer and Son. Correct. Heftige, heftige Uhr. Fantastic watch. It's a 38 Habe ich watch. war unverkäuflich, uh, wollte really keiner haben. Value, fantastically over the last four or five years. It's gone up. Tolles Werk. Surely, it never went down. It's a very handsome perpetual calendar. So let's talk about the pricing. Did you see the back of it? Absolutely. Wow, beautiful. schön. Das schönste Werk. So how much is this watch? Uh, this watch, give or take, is in the low 60s. 61, 62,000 for pre-owned. So what's the retail on this watch? Uh, I believe the retail is somewhere in the 80s. Okay, so it's actually slightly less than the retail right and it's a beautiful watch my understanding is this is german is it german correct and the germans make a great watch i know it's not something that you would probably wear <laughs> ist der, die uhr von der stylistik her ist halt sehr understatement zurückhaltend aber es ist sehr sehr schön also a fabulous watch this is nice and it feels nice as well with it being platinum it's got some some Serious weight to it. Okay, this is a big boy. So right. So that's an Arnold and Son oh. Luna Magna in Platinum. Arnold and Son. Ich muss dazu sagen, Arnold and Son bin ich eigentlich immer. Ich fand die immer mega cool, weil die den Mond so schön einbinden. Ne? Aber ich habe am Ende ist halt eine Ameri Also die ist auf dem amerikanischen Markt sehr stark. Ich habe sogar eine amerikanische Marke. Platinum. That's limited to 28 pieces. What no. does this do? It's like a bubble globe, so, right? So that is the moon phase. So that is just like how Jacob has a three-dimensional actual round moon. Right. They do it as well. So you can see right now the way it's set that if you look up at night, it's going to be almost half of a moon. If I pull this out and turn it, will it turn? Well, no, you'd have to actually um, trigger the moon phase. Uh, with the, with the button, yeah, yes. Right. But if you'd like to play with it, you're welcome to, but uh, that you'll just change the time right now. And how much is one of these? So that watch is give or take 50,000. Oh, doch so teuer. So again, a good buy. Right. A good buy. Um, it's beautiful. It's, like it's really beautiful. It's nice to see something different, right? The brand itself has made a fantastic company. Ich muss sagen, momentan kann ich euch nur als Feedback geben. Momentan verkaufen wir solche Exoten, die so ein bisschen abnorm der der Mainstream Skala sind, sehr gut. Also egal, guck mal die beiden Millinery Uhren, die wir sofort verkauft haben, das wäre früher undenkbar gewesen. Wir haben auch sonst was haben wir für ein paar Uhren verkauft? Also alles, was jetzt, natürlich die normalen Uhren auch, aber ich sag mal so, so das erweitert sich so Step by Step. Ne? Heute hat mich ein anderer Händlerkollege, der wollte mir eine Bulgari Octofissimo als Arabic Version anbieten. Mal sehen, ob ich die kaufe. Back, uh, like five, six years ago, Arnold and Son was known as a closeout brand. As the years have progressed, this, this brand has come back. It is now trading for, give or take, 80% of the retail value. Really? Hard to get. And yeah. this is British? Arnold and Son is a Swiss made watch. I believe their legacy is British, but it's definitely a Swiss made watch. Especially with a name like Arnold, right? And this is very pretty. Look at that dial. So that's a Blanc Pan. That is a stainless steel single button pusher chronograph. Ah, motor pusher, okay. You can trigger the chronograph mm. with ah. the center button that you don't. <laughs> oh, the. So that's the 105 Maverick in bronze. That was a limited edition of just 22 pieces. What is this? Die sehen immer so cool aus, ne? Uhrwerk sieht so cool aus, aber am Ende, da passt, also das ist so. 
Ich weiß nicht, was ich davon halten soll. Ich finde, die sehen cool aus, aber... Oh. What did it do? I guess it just gives you an additional view, right? Correct. You can see the mechanism. Now, these inside. aren't cheap if I'm uh, no, not no, mistaken. No, no, no. It's 70,000 retail. And you really don't get much discount, maybe about $10,000 discount. It looks a bit like a toy. Right? It, seriously, it looks like something you would get at, um, what is it that's just opened at Universal, the, uh, the Star Wars thing. So this is 70,000 bucks? Yes, list, yeah. And what so makes it special? Is there anything special it, it the movement? Yeah, well look at the movement. Look at how the, the hour marker rotates around. You want to play with it a little bit? You can how, see. How do you, I'll let you do it because I... Mir wurde mal eine Uhr angeboten aus Platin, das war die billigste Uhr auf Chrono, mir war aber zu wenig Marge drin. Uhrwerk. Ja, die hier wurde mir angeboten, ich glaube für 38. Habe ich aber nicht gekauft. Die sieht, auch die sieht auch einfach nicht gut aus irgendwie, oder? Ich weiß es nicht, man muss sie sehen. Das Einzige, ich finde halt Platin, ist Platin oder Weißgold? Ah, White Gold. Ja. Platin, ja. Das ist auch immer dasselbe, dasselbe Modell hier, immer dieses Standardmodell. T-Rex sieht schon ein bisschen cooler aus. Er hat jetzt die hier. Hm, ich weiß es nicht, ja. Ich weiß es nicht. <lacht> Brutal, hässlich. Ja. So this is an expensive watch that I dare say you can wear without getting mugged because <laughs> it, 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 it looks a bit like a toy, right? What's the back look like? Uh, the back looks like that. <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure how to explain that. It looks like two eyes. Oh, it has a button on it. You see this? Yeah. What does that do? What does it do, Seth? <laughs> also don't know. <laughs> <laughs> does it come with an instruction manual, Seth? I, I hope so. What do we have here? Oh, you, you tell me. I just got this. Have you noticed I'm wearing a watch again? Can you believe yeah, it? Look at that. Diamonds. Zenith White Gold Daytona. Forget that. Ah, Zenith hat der. Ui, Zenith White Gold. Zenith White Gold, sicher? Okay, krass, ja. Ich bekomme die jetzt äh, auch wieder mit Baguette-Plünte. Kein Zenith, aber mit Sodali-Ziffernblatt. Freue ich mich sehr drauf. So, if this is original. This is original. Wow. Hammer Wild. Don't see that too often. This is incredibly rare. Isn't that pretty? Das ist worth a lot Das sind zum Beispiel Uhren, glaub mir, das seit, seit Februar sind die Uhren, glaube ich, um 60.000 Euro gestiegen. Sehr selten Uhr. Did you just get this? I just got this, yeah. Yeah, very good taste, my God. Let's get back to this stuff. How did you even find that watch? It was very difficult. Very few of these. You like it? I do like it. Even though it's bling? Even though it's bling. What do you think this watch is worth, Mike? I have no idea. You tell me. Wieso guckst du eigentlich immer nur auf Chrono24 und nicht auf Chronext? Hä, wie meinst du das? Chronext ist ein Anbieter, so wie wir. Oder wie Watchmaster oder andere oder äh, Watchfinder. Das ist doch völlig uninteressant. Also Chronext, jetzt die Jungs, ne, super Jungs, alles super. Ich kauf auch von den Uhren, aber das hat ja nichts. Also Chrono24 ist ja der Weltmarkt. Also bei, bei Chronext, die haben, wie viele Uhren haben die? 1000 oder auf Chrono24 sind ja Millionen online. Ja, das ist nicht zu vergleichen. Ein, Chrono24 ist ja nur ein Marktplatz, wo alle Händler inserieren. Das heißt, die, das, du kriegst da die volle Übersicht. Chronex ist nur ein individueller Anbieter. I'm thinking this this has to be worth something like 150-200. That's a good guess. And I pay slightly less than that. Okay, are you going to switch you. out that brown strap or are you going to keep it brown? Well, this is the way it comes. So uh, I'm tempted, but I wanted okay. to keep it original. Okay. What would you put on it? I don't know. White? Pink? <laughs> As I was saying, here's another Star Trek watch. <laughs> okay. That? So what that's, that's by this? a very, very boutique brand called MBMF. They make fantastically futuristic Pulled watches uh, they, and they also make little clocks uh, they're very collectible hard to get you get almost no discount this watch retails for 113,000 stop it yeah 113,000 113,000 would you wear that no not in a million years really yeah it's disgusting you wear it Mike <laughs> I would not wear that that is a I conversation would, I, would, I would no I don't want that I, 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 mean, don't, I, want that, I don't want right? that conversation <laughs> 113,000. Tell us what it does. Well, t t just tell us tell what time, time it is. That's the, that's the balance wheel on the front. And then you got the hours and the minutes. And that's it. And, just and all of that for 113,000. Yeah. No date? No date. No, that would be ja, ganz cool. <lacht> Aber ich würde sie halt, sag ich mal, für das Publikum, was wir adressieren, das wird die halt keiner kaufen. <lacht> no, it's very nice for those that like that but it's cool to see it right? looks like a jetson's car mbnf is actually a very famous brand yes and very sought after brand yeah and also very 
eclectic. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, you have to be a certain. They're, they're one of the top independent brands, and so is the next watch, by the way. Okay, who is this? This is H. Moser. H. So that's called Moser. the Endeavor oh, yeah. Flying Hours. That's in white gold. Look at that dial. They call it the Fumé dial. So it's a limited edition of 100 pieces. The hour is always going to be the one in the blue area that gets highlighted in white. And as it goes around, it jumps to different hours. Uh, I'm idea of bias, sit ya? Go by up here, you bias. can see how many minutes have, have elapsed. Six, six, seven. And then it would jump what to up? the next hour. Very, very, that's what they're famous for. Hey, okay. what's, what's this? Check your gun, man. Hey, check your gun, Their dials. I that's mean. so cool. So, all right, so this watch is right around. Let me guess, 60,000. Less, it's less. 40. Yeah, the retail price is 37. Thir oh, really? 37, five. And what can it be bought for? Uh, there. And then the other comment that everybody was asking about uh, is what happened to Yossi Dina? Oh God, okay, okay, so I get, so, that. I get that a lot Why don't well. you just answer that question? Let's finish my response. Okay, Yossi, bless his heart. Uh, shall I tell the story what happened to Yossi? Sure, why not? This is all coffee. hearsay, but I believe it's semi-accurate. Um, Yossi had uh, the Dina collection, which is now the Rumi collection yeah. on, on Beverly Drive here in Beverly Hills. And uh, he got himself in a little bit of trouble financially, is the story that I've heard. Mm. And uh, he ran away. He went to Israel. Uh, he is in Israel now. I speak to him from time to time. He's a great guy. I love Yossi. I think he's coming back. He didn't really run away. Um, he left town for a while. I think he wanted things to cool down, calm down. Uh, and last time I spoke to him was probably two, three months ago. Out of the blue, he gives me a call. Michael, how are you? He didn't say that. Michael, how are you? You know, <laughs> yes, you know. And uh, yeah, hopefully he's going to come back. And if he does come back, he's going to set up a watch shop. That's what he said. I uh, don't know what type of inventory he'll have, but if he does, you'll see him on the channel. So that's what happened to Yoshi. Oh, okay. All right. Because you like Yoshi too, right? I liked him. I've known him for many years. Uh, he, didn't, he never called me to tell me where he was at. <laughs> I guess he... Well, maybe he called me because he wanted something. Who knows, right? But uh, Maybe he reads the comments too. Yeah. Grand Ferrier. Ferrier. It's called the Galle Annual Aber Calendar. Style. <laughs> this is the new model. So what mag I not so much here so with him. Our well, limited edition. Uh, they call the mathematical. Can you tell what time it is right now? Well, I don't have my glasses on. I see a zero and a... Hold on. I have to... Oh, wow. oh, look at that. Whoa, that's cool. It's, uh, it's spannend gemacht, aber also das, also für, also stilistisch ist für mich Horror, ne? Also ich freue mich so sehr auf mein bestelltes Naxos. Was bekomme ich als Geschenk dazu, lieber Marc? Weiß nicht, eine stornierte Bestellung oder äh, lange Lieferzeit? Also kannst du ja aussuchen, alles vorbei. Ah. It's so cool. This, this is yeah. a pretty watch. Yeah, it's very. I, I, you know what? I literally just came in this morning. I have to double check the retail. Nächste. Was ist das hier? This is their stainless steel turbo. Charles Girandier tourbillon. Tourbillon, extra thin, blue dial. That's extremely thin it for is. a tourbillon. So it's, this this brand makes very kind of simplistic watches, but they're beautifully made. Uh, but you do get a discount. So this watch retails for 56 a drop. Jack Dro Tourbillon. Maybe I'm ja, wer jetzt auch nicht meinst hier. Wer kauft sowas, ne? Wer und das meine ich, Leute. Guck mal, wenn ich solche Uhren hätte, die wird mir doch hier niemand abnehmen. Dafür brauchst du den amerikanischen Markt. Mark Buchhalter auch, auch bei euch in Vollzeit natürlich Vollzeit, Alter. Hast du gesehen, was hier los ist? Die Bude, die Bude brennt. Der Buchhalter muss hier in die Tasten hauen. Ba -ba 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 Bam. Ja, natürlich, klar, klar. Was ist das hier für eine Uhr? Next. Gold. So this is a complicated watch. It's got all kinds of things going on, including a 24-hour clock. Parmigiani is a brutal mark. Look at this house. Very, very expensive here with the lugs, with the drickers. Unverkäuflich. Niemand wird diese Uhr jemals kaufen. Aber heftig. Aber die stellen übrigens Parmigiani stellt alles selber her. Die Zeiger, die Schrauben, die machen alles selber. Die kaufen nichts zu. Aber Pretty watch, and uh, I'd sell it for around 25. And this is what 40 millimeter, maybe bigger. It's curious, but for 25, my lieber, that is the oven. Uh, interesting, <laughs> because from what I know of Roger Dubois, and I have one Roger Dubois, they make a great watch, but they just never became that mainstay brand, right? They never um, cool, the name. Yeah, they, cool they, look. They, they gave it their best effort. They really had. I think what hurt Roger Dubois is back in the day, this was a closeout brand. Too many of these ended up on the secondary market back when they were making the the too muches and the much mores. Right. Everything um, was one of 28.
Grand Comp Vacheron. Pat Heftige Uhr. Heftige Uhr. Auch nicht mein Stil. Coolen Price 400.000. Okay. Tremoni Turbion Minute, Minute Repeater. Repeater. Oh, okay. This watch was some, something well, close to seven, eight hundred thousand retail price. Yeah. Really? Is this yeah. white gold or platinum? This is platinum. This is actually a good deal. If somebody wants to step up and, and own themselves a basher. Wenn ich solche Kunden hätte, die sowas kaufen, Alter, gute Nacht, gute Nacht, solche Kunden, die sowas kaufen, die muss ich erst noch kennenlernen. Irgendwer auf der Welt kauft sowas, aber ich glaube, also die werden meine YouTube-Videos safe nicht gucken. Das ist einfach die ältere Generation. Ich wüsste nicht, wem ich so eine Uhr... Selbst die Leute, die ich rede jetzt darüber, die teure Uhren kaufen. McLaren, äh, äh, John Todd, so, also Richard Müll-mäßig, ne? die auch 5, 6, 700.000 Euro für eine Uhr ausgeben. Egal, selbst wenn ich zu dem sagen würde, kauf die Uhr für 200.000 Euro, würde der sagen, guck mal, was soll ich mit der Uhr? Ich will nicht mein eigener Großvater sein oder was? Nee. Da kenne ich keinen. I can sell this watch for 400,000 right now. 50% if, 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 off, right? Yes, if, if you're in the market for this watch, it's a fantastic deal. Most people will <laughs> laugh at that, thinking they can buy a house for the same price, or you know, half a house at least. But um, this is an unbelievable watch. Let's talk about that for two seconds. Yeah. How does a watch manufacturer justify an $800,000 price tag? <laughs> Or more. Or more, or a <laughs> million, two million. Yeah. How do they justify it? Because you brought up a great point there. Yeah. It's a house. Yeah. Right? So how do they do that? Can I ask, can I turn around and ask you the question? <laughs> I don't know. What would to be the question to me? I, I, I know it's thousands and thousands. Also, and thousands warum, ist, warum, ist, warum kostet so eine Uhr so viel, wie sie kostet? Also, wir haben natürlich verschiedene Entwicklungskosten. Das heißt, eine Uhr wird jetzt nicht einfach so gebaut. Du musst Zeichnungen machen, du musst Sachen, technische Zeichnungen machen, du musst das Ding zusammenbauen, testen und so weiter. Da geht mir schon mal ein bisschen was drauf. Dann musst du die Sachen für eine Massenproduktion erstmal einkaufen, äh, herstellen, zusammenbauen, alles von Hand. Sagen wir mal, in so einer Uhr, wie viele Komponenten sind da drin? 200, 200, 300? Bestimmt 300 Komponenten, 300 Teile sind da drin. Das heißt, du musst die testen. Bei Lange und Söhne zum Beispiel läuft das so, Lange und Söhne baut eine Uhr zusammen, testet die, baut die wieder auseinander, baut die wieder zusammen, testet die und dann geht die erst an den Kunden aus. Das ist aber auch die einzige, die im Markt die das macht. Nichtsdestotrotz dauert es natürlich lange, bis dann so eine Uhr an den Endkunden kommt. Da hat man natürlich Marketing, Mieten, all sowas. Und es muss ja auch noch was drin sein, wenn jetzt, sagen wir mal, Konzessionäre sowas nehmen. Von daher, die kriegen so eine Uhr dann für die Hälfte oder weiß ich nicht was und dann muss das Ding auch noch raus. Dementsprechend, ja, es, äh, schlägt sich das Ganze so um. Entwicklungskosten dafür, ne? So ist das. Kleinserien, das sind Kleinserien, die gebaut werden. Hochkomplexe Serien, Miniature Repeater. Riesenaufwand. Da muss erstmal alles für so funktionieren auf so einem Level. Standard. And time to do these, they're incredibly intricate. It's unbelievable what's going on inside of them. Um, One guy could spend a year making this, right? Yeah, easily, easily. Uh, sometimes it needs a whole team to make these but, watches. But still, that's that's a lot of money. Yeah, well, they've been... They've been but I'm not spending $100,000. So with that, we'll say yeah. goodbye. All right, <laughs> fair enough. Seth, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Guys, do not forget, go to the Producer Michael Boutique at ProducerMichael.com. Follow Seth on Instagram. All his info will be there. Call him, buy one of these watches and he'll take care of you. And if you don't want one of these, he's got Rolexes, lots of them. Anything else? That's it, thank you so much. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. We are in, in it, it to win it. In it to win it. Bye. Immer gute Laune, weißt du? Immer gute, immer gute Laune, ja. War doch mal interessant, was anderes zu sehen, als dieses ganze Standard-Zeug. Yeah. So. Yeah.